Hey everybody, Model Man here and on the bench for December 5th, 2014, it's video number 1300. That's right, 1300 video uploads. I had hoped to save the occasion until December 15th, which is actually my 6th anniversary of my first on the bench video. But I want to get these kits off to auction immediately. And speaking of that, this is in fact the 8th pseudo annual charity auction. And it also happens to be the biggest one to date. 31 lots. Let's take a specific look at everything. The new 125th Batmobile with resin Batman and Robin. 125th Back to the Future Part 2 Time Machine Mark II. 125th AMT 69 Chevy Corvair, a 2010 Chevy Camaro. The new, brand new Dukes of Hazzard General Lee in 125th Snap Kit. 53 Ford Pickup, a 40 Ford Fire Chief, a 67 Shelby GT350, a Shazoom Corvair, a 64 Pontiac GTO. Changing scales, we're into the 120th 1970 AMX. How about 132 Avanti, the 148th Hawker Tempest Mark V. Switching over to Lindbergh, a 128th Convair B58 Hustler. Or how about the Lindbergh 1245 landing ship tank? That looks pretty cool. Switching it up yet again, the MPC Pilgrim Observer. Heading over to Star Trek land, we've got the Vulcan Shuttle. The 11000 Reliant. The original series, Cadet Series, 12500th Triple Starship set. Or, how about the 11000 Space Seed Edition with the Botany Bay? And that's going to be bundled with Shatner's Star Trek Memories. Also for Star Trek, just the lid of one of the limited edition blue tins and a blue tin limited edition blue Star Trek poster. It's the same thing as this right here, but in a real nice glossy poster form. What else we got? Let's stick with space and head over to Star Wars. Inside of this box, I've crammed two full snow speeder kits. Over here, I found this guy sitting on my Star Wars car one morning. Either as a warning, or as a gift. I don't know which, but he's coming to you. And one other bit of goodness from Star Wars, the Dark Horse Tales of the Jedi Golden Age of the Sith graphic novel. Not mint condition. There's a little bit of a warping on the back here, but definitely uh, good to perfect, probably. It's been a while since I was grading comic books. Switching up to real space. The Space Shuttle Story by Andrew Wilson. From the development of the rocket to today's dramatic missions with over 120 full-color illustrations and presumably photos. There's a lot of really unique photos in here I've never seen before. This is more of an introduction overview of the entire space program, uh, but definitely a nice one to have and look through. Over here, it's a really big 11 by 17 space shuttle poster book. Concept art and actual photos as well. Modeler's brand is throwing in some LED gear. If you do glow-in-the-dark kits, the Monstrous Glow Kit is for you. Piles and piles of ultraviolet goodness. The Mystery Glow Kit. The Leaf Erickson Mystery Glow Kit. And a 5mm LED pack featuring 90 LEDs, over 100 resistors, 4 feet of heat shrink, 2 yards of wire, electrical tape, a tube of solder, battery clips, alligator clips, 2-pin clips, and a power switch. Everything to get you going with LED lighting. And, and the charity feature, new from Educraft Diversions, a 132nd scale Lunar Module LM5. This thing is amazing. 200 page PDF of instructions, 50 sheets of actual parts. This is a paper model kit and basically it looks stunning. Head over to Educraft Diversions website and have a look at some of the other stuff they do. I've already shot a review of this kit and it will be posting forthwith. Amazing to see this one. 
This is such a special one that I decided to dig into my own personal collection and pulled out the 132nd Apollo Command Module. This was the 40th anniversary, the Buzz Aldrin Rocket Hero Edition. So that and this guy here are going to be one single lot. Good luck. So there you have it. 31 items going into this one auction. It's going to be the biggest one I've done to date, and I'm really happy about that. I'm hoping to get this stuff going by this weekend, Saturday, December 7th, I think it is, which means it'll finish up around the 14th or 15th and hopefully be in your hands just in time for Christmas and off of my shelf. What else has been going on on the bench? Got a little work to do on my wife's lightsaber. The Jupiter II. One of the things that's been giving me trouble is getting this little guy to fit here. Every time I put the lid on, it doesn't quite fit exactly as nicely as I'd like it. So what I do is cut the walls down, bring that in, which changes the distance between this and this here. And it's really been frustrating. And what I realized I could do instead was to make these guys instead. Draft 1 here was a good experiment, but you can see I fell short on materials. Thus, draft two, but that needs a little more work. Draft three is coming up. I've got, I've got a few hours of video in the can on the Jupiter II, but probably not enough to satisfy the more fervent amongst you out there. So I'm going to shoot a little more and hopefully get this really going because it's taken too long. And as always, I got stuck on a bit of a diversion. This is actually a little bit of a test I've been doing in oils. It's a used canvas with used brushes and some used paints that I just happen to have laying around. And uh, it's probably been a good 10 or 15 years since I actually really painted. And I wanted to see if I still could do it. And uh, I hate to show a painting mid-process because it definitely is not all that great at its current point. But as soon as I can get this out of this paint booth, I can get back to painting the Jupiter II and it is really ready for paint. Over here on the back side you can see I've thrown in all the finishing uh, fiber optics. LEDs are in place but they need to be uh, finalized. This painting here has kind of slowed things down. So I'm going to be getting this thing out of here. I've got a new easel coming in. I've got uh, proper canvases and I even have a new workspace for it. So uh, I may even start doing some videos of that, if not create a separate channel, if I wind up doing a lot of more oil painting. We'll see. So I really hate to say that's about it for this update, but that's really about it for this update. I'll have another one coming up as soon as the charity auction ends, and I'll have a lot more details about what's going on. I think over the next week or two I should be able to dig into a lot more Jupiter, get those videos posting, and, uh... Yeah, so I'll see you guys again on probably December 15th is what I'll shoot for. And, uh, geez, 10 days from now already. That's coming up fast. So, And one last note. I'm very happy to say that Modeler's Brand is now having its very first holiday sale. And anybody watching this video and placing an order between now when you see this and December 31st, 2014 will get 25% off your order. Now, I had hoped to keep this nice and simple. Give you guys a discount code, enter it into the order, it takes it off, everything's nice and happy. That's not the way it works with PayPal, unfortunately. What they're telling me I'd have to do is go into every single shopping cart button that I have, 100 plus at the moment, enter the discount code into that, and then when the sale's over, take that out again. That's just not really feasible. So, I've come up with a bit of a workaround. When you place your order, there's going to be a text box that says Note to Seller. In that text box, type the following. Now, when the order comes in to me and I see that, I'll know to refund you 25% back. That is exclusive of California sales tax if you happen to live in California, and it's also exclusive of the shipping charges as well. However, 25% is my way of saying thank you very much for helping to make Modeler's Brand the success that it has become. Four years in, things are going good, it's feeding itself, it's growing, and I have a lot of really good ideas for 2015 and where I want to expand to. So thank you very much, 
Happy holidays, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. See ya. And here are a few YouTube channels that might interest you. As always, the Scale Model Addict. Scott Vervan brings you his own work, and the Scale Model Addict Forum and Scale Model Addict Magazine. Dr. Faust's The Painting Clinic. Check out Tony for miniatures and model painting. What time is it? It's Cranky Time. With his lab rat Tori assistant Igor, Dr. Cranky brings you the best in rats, rods, and rust. Steve Neal's Garage with Rosie the Wonder Dog, Mary, and Xena, featuring feature film props, restorations, and scale model artistry. Scott Alexander of Atomic City Models, specializing in 2001 A Space Odyssey model recreations and a few other notable genre pieces as well. Braddock 001, whether a one-to-one -one scale Borg sleep station, droids of any make or model, or even popular superhero armor or any kind of sculpture, look to Brad Carpenter to bring it. And for the trials, tribulations, and tales of my car Red 2 and its droid lemons, check in on Gears McTinkerson. Bad Grendels for fine model work, timer chips, and electronics knowledge. The Model Man Tom channel would like to thank the following for their sponsorship. Elliot Brown of Kingston Vacuum Works, featuring Fedoratron.com and WarmPlastic.com. Lighting for extraordinary modelers, and vacuum forming tables for designers, modelers, and engineers. Kingston Vacuum Works covers it all. Paul at TheFiberOpticStore.com, now presenting the beta version of its new site, TheFiberOpticProjects.com for an exceptional selection and great prices of fiber optics of all sizes and quantities the fiberopticstore.com Carpenter Creations if you can dream it, you can make it Brad and Carpenter Science Fiction Artis from full scale board cubicles or droid displays of all kinds Carpenter Creations Steve Neal's Garage Props and models for motion picture and discerning collectors, as well as prosthetic makeup and CG. Contact Steve through stevenealsgarage.com. Model reviews from Round 2 Models, AMT, MPC, Polar Lights, and Lindbergh. Scale Model Attic Magazine. The Orbital Defense Engineering Commission, a 2001 A Space Odyssey specific forum for scale model kits, reviews, news, and discussion. Odec.proboards.com More than just talk, hobbytalk.com, a forum for every hobby. And for the finest reference collection of feature film studio props and miniatures and models, it's Modelers Miniatures and Magic at ModelerMagic.com